We've got to go, now. The situation in Ramire Village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. find a way to save this village. True. But if we are not careful about how we proceed, we will only increase the death toll. The villagers are attacking each other. Let's knock them all out one by one. All are so reckless. You do know that if we mess up, we will either kill or be killed, right? Still, we cannot just stand here twiddling our thumbs and doing nothing. I'd r really like to go home now. But there's no time for thoughts like that. We have to help them. I am waiting for your orders with full readiness. Wait. Those people over there, they seem to be observing the chaos. They must be behind this. Eliminate them and rescue all of the unafflicted villagers. Thanks a bunch. Is that the one? Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Is that the one? 
Thanks a bunch. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Come back. There are some suspicious looking ruffians out there, but our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? I'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. Ferdinand von Eyre. As you wish. Oh, no. Stay focused.
The one giving commands in the back. I'm certain that's Tomas the Librarian.
how weak you are! expected. Tomas, what are you doing here? Dare I even ask? I'm not Tomas. My name is Solon, the savior of all. What's the matter? So shocked you can't even speak. <laughs> you were so easily fooled by my disguise. I was hiding away in Garrig Mach to get the blood of that little girl called Flame. With her blood, we'll be one step closer to realizing our goal. I'll have a bit of fun here, too. That's the Death Knight. He must be an ally of Tomas. Solon, or whoever he is. Yeah. 
over with. Should I have held back? of nobility. Rescued as many as we can. Now it's time to capture Sol. You are but a savage, insignificant beast. Yet you think you can kill me?
fight through anything. setting a very good example. So this is what the goddess grants me. The Death Knight was just a distraction. Let's concentrate on killing Sola. body and mind why have you gone after this village what are you planning <laughs> I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects now that I have what I came for I must bid you farewell wait damn it he's gone we let him get away I'll survey the village there may still be enemies in hiding Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them, the people of Ramire Village. 
There you are. That armor. So, you're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. Oh, we've met all right. But back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon, but that does not mean our objectives are the same. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Your words are meaningless. Now, I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the Creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. You are lying. I can see that you cannot contain your fury toward me. Pity. Pray that you do not live to regret your choice. Gerald, Professor, have you seen Lady Edelgard? What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! He's gone. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Since coming to the monastery, you've changed. You've been angry since we first arrived in Ramire Village. And you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before the monastery, I'd never seen you bear your emotions like that. Not once. Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery. If only so I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Ah, uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Though I suppose it may be nearly that time. Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. Professor, I don't know if this is appropriate to say, but admirable work out there. I really believe we did all that we could. Gerald said the same thing. We must try to stay positive, even through the horror. I hear the so-called Flame Emperor appeared in Remire Village as well. Hubert told me that you spoke with him. Really? Is that what you want, Professor? That makes sense. It's hard to trust someone without knowing who they are or how they're connected to all this. Even if he wants you as an ally, his objectives are still unclear. If the Flame Emperor truly wishes to make use of your power, perhaps someday he will appear before you without his mask, and you can look in his eyes and decide what you believe. Adel, I need to ask you something. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I interrupt? No, not at all. If you'll excuse me, Professor. You did well handling that awful business in Remire Village. I am certain the Goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a dark mage. 
I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a rat was hiding in your home. Pathetic! Who are these wicked foes? How did Tomas escape your gaze? Tomas came to the monastery 40 years ago by recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia before returning to the monastery once again just last year. After having worked at Gerig Mach for decades, why would he betray us now? Just what did he hope to accomplish? Yuritsa became a professor at the Officers' Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. In the long history of the Church of Seros, no, long before even that, there have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Fodlin. Yet those who oppose us still operate in the shadows. Their identity is a mystery. I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. A threat to Fodlin's peace? That means we have no choice. We have to stop them all. I have truly come to rely on you. I believe that the monastery will remain safe so long as we have you. We do not yet know the enemy's objective or whereabouts. For now, please devote yourself to preparing for whatever comes next. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly, dear Professor. May the Goddess Sothis protect you. The Goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Is something the matter? I see. In that case, farewell. Do not say something that we may regret. She... I... What exactly am I? For now, let's leave this place. Please, go!